In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Zoho Mail with your own domain to receive and send email. So the first thing you need to do is go to accounts.zoho.com and then create an account there. And then you can go to mailadmin.zoho.com and you'll be taken to the page on the left. Then you need to click on domains and then add. And then here you need to type the domain that you want to use. So in this case, I'm going to type rider.link and then click on add. And then you'll be prompted to add a DNS record to your domain. So you can see I've got the domain DNS open on the right and I use AWS in this case. So I'm going to go to create new record. And then here I've got the option to change the subdomain of the record. So for this one, that needs to remain blank because it's staying on the root domain, which is what the at symbol means here on the left. Uh, and then you need to change the record type to TXT. And then in the box at the bottom, you need to copy and paste what you see in the TXT value box on the left. And then paste that into here and then click on create. And once that's done, you should be able to click on verify and it'll detect that and say that it's successfully verified. And then you can click on proceed at the bottom. And here you'll now be prompted to add some more records, including MX and some TXT records as well. So on the right, I'm going to click on create record again. And then these top four have got an at symbol, which means it's the root domain. So for these four, we can leave the subdomain box blank. So in this case, I'm going to have to set the record type to MX. And then what we need to do is also specify the priority columns here. So I'm going to copy the first record and then type in the priority number 10 and then paste in the record that it's wanting us to type in and then do the same for the rest of them. So this one's 20 and then I can paste that record in. And then the next one is 50 and I can paste that one in as well. So yours should look a little bit something like this and then click on create. And then for the fourth record down, which is the first TXT record, we need to edit the original TXT record that we created. So I'm gonna go into the edit menu for that one. And then here you'll see the original record here. So I'm gonna put a new line on that and then put a quotation mark. And then I'm going to copy the record here and paste it in and then put another quotation mark on the end and then click on save. And then for the last record, we need to create a new one and then go to TXT. And then we need to set the subdomain to be this value here. So we can paste that into the top box. And then in the next box down, we need to paste in what's in the value box and then click on create. And that should be all the DNS records added. So if we click on verify, it should detect them all. So as you can see, it's picked up the MX records. It's just not picked up the other ones at the moment. So you might have to get a few minutes or a few days as DNS propagation can take up to 72 hours to complete. So I'm just going to reload the page click on proceed again and then verify and you can see it's now picked up the bottom one so now we're just waiting for it to pick up the original one at the top so I'm just going to reload it again and we can see that it's now been verified and it's successfully connected so when you click on proceed you'll see the domain listed here and then what you can do from there is click into the domain and then go to email configuration and you'll see that MX is verified, SPF is verified, DKIM is verified and DMARC isn't necessary, but I do highly recommend it for security. So in here, you need to click on quarantine the emails so that you don't get any spoofed emails coming in. So click on quarantine. In the second two boxes, you'll need to enter the address that you want these failure reports to come to whenever somebody's trying to send you a spoofed email. So because this is for DMARC, I'm gonna put um, DMARC at rider.link. into both boxes and then click on generate and you see it'll give you another record to add. So I'm gonna click on create record in AWS and set the type to TXT and put the subdomain as underscore DMARC and then put the contents as what's in the second box, click on create and now that record's been saved. So I can click on verify, it picks that up and now that's set up. So now when you go to mail.zoho.com You'll be able to log in and see all the emails that you've got on that domain and also send emails from it as well. 
If you'd like to manage any aliases on the domain, you can do that by going into advanced settings and then go to domain aliasing. And from here, you can click on add and add any alias to the domain from there. If you would like all emails to come through, regardless of what alias they are sent to, you can enter an address that you want all the emails to be sent to. So just type in a valid email address on here and then they'll get sent through as well. And what I also recommend doing is going into security and compliance and then following all of these instructions here, or at least as many as you can, to help improve the security of the domain and any emails coming in and also going out. So that should be it. Any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.